So now we back to talking about Robin and her fucked up arrangement with her baby daddy again. Like we ain't got tired of this two episodes ago. Now we still talking about it cause he moved to Maryland now. Oh, okay. I still supposed to carry now cause he didn't move to Maryland. Still not carrying none. And y'all little fucked up arrangement in 2016 y'all got going on. So the poodle want this old man to have a baby from her. And she stood up here putting pressure on this old ass man. He don't want to have sex with no damn poodle to have no puppies. Girl, leave that man alone. The old man said he already got, what, three, four kids? And now you talking about a kid? He don't want to have no capoodle. Girl, sit your little young ass down somewhere and go get you a younger man. Go have a child with. You try to make this old man have a whole litter of puppies. That man don't want that shit. Leave that man alone. So Karen and the Poodle gets into it first. And of course, the Poodle got to bark because she's a dog. What else they do? Bark and growl at you. So of course, she got to bark and Giselle telling her to shut up and shut up. And Karen still on this thing about her obsessing with her obsessive with obsessive, obsessive with her daughter. Girl, she ain't obsessed with your daughter. The fact that she brought up your daughter was that in a like guardian type of way or be a friend of your daughter. Not take out the two body shots like she said. You just took that took offense to that and ran with it, huh, Karen? You just ran with the fact that she mentioned your daughter and they go to the mall or something. You are like that's illegal or something, Miss Karen. But whatever, you always got an opinion. You always up in your feelings about something. So what did this gonna hurt? You can add this on to the list of bullshit too. Lord, she then went from her, the, calling her unintelligent and obsessed and compulsive about her daughter. Now she talking about Michael pulling in and out when he having sex. Can we leave that alone now? A poodle and an old man having sex. Don't nobody want to hear that shit, Karen. You could have kept that to your damn self. Yup, told her to grow up, become a woman, and have your own damn child, and don't talk about her damn child no more. Yeah, Karen, you taking that overboard now, dear. You did not have to say half of that shit you did have to say to that little young poodle. But I insist you sit on hurting people's feelings every time you get mad at somebody. You try to cut them where it hurt. I see where you come for, you little nasty hell, for trying to cut that little young girl where it hurt. Because she want to have children. And she want to get pregnant. Now you're trying to cut that girl deep now. It'd be funny if she would have slept your old ass. Then I bet you would have left that all left that alone now, wouldn't you? You know what's, what's funny about this whole situation? And they try to act all etiquette and shit. Mind you, when they go to cut somebody out, all that etiquette shit go flowing out the window. Y'all notice that? That etiquette they want to call themselves got in high class peaky all up in the air bullshit. Mind you, when they cussing out each other, that just go flying, get tossed. Up, oh, let me throw that away for a few seconds so I can cuss you out. And Karen, just like uh, Robin said, we don't talk like that in Patan. Okay, now where the hell you learned this from then, old lady Karen? You just basically cussed that woman out, no questions or less, talking about the stuff she want most, children, and get pregnant. And she ain't part of saying nothing to it. Karen, you rude as hell for that. You need to not have to cuss that woman out like that. I'm still laughing at it. <laughs> A wet cat walking around in heat. So what are you carrying? A old lady walking around with tired wigs on? Why you not talk about that girl like that? Now Karen, you showing your ass. Now you need to leave that little young girl alone. You see she clearly can't defend herself. And anything she say against you, it sounds dumb. So Karen, leave that little young girl alone. And just when the last insult was thrown, here come Katie, old tired ass, all of a damn sudden, come up there blowing kisses all late and shit. Now, who, who, who fed she fit to get into Robin's? Let's see who she fit to fuck with now. Oh, God, so Robin and Katie fit to get into it now. And here we go with the damn race card again, just like we don't have enough issue with this card Robin gonna throw it back on the table again. I'm not going there. And it's about the thing with the man grabbing the other man. 
Are we still for to do this? Didn't we leave that in the last episode? We're doing this all over again. Really, I'm still not talking about it. Now, Robin, I was rooting for you and I was cheering for you, but you is coming off a little racist with that damn comment you asked that one, man. But I'm still leaving it alone and I'm not going to talk about it. But you did come off as a racist with that damn comment. Time about only one part of the race do that. You need to look at football more, my dear. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And I'm going to leave that alone. <sighs> now here go Giselle and, and the Poodle talking about the damn thing. And race all over again. And Poodle said she told her to drop it. Now Karen got that. I mean, now Giselle got to keep on dragging it on across the, grabbing it across the floor all over again. Yeah, now we just ain't leave it there. Now here she get yeah, it go. Now here go these two picking up the dead carcass, dragging it around now. Would y'all please leave this topic alone? Because don't nobody want to talk about that. Especially not the race card issue. And what race do that and what race don't do that? Thank you, Cherise. G Giselle, you do bring up race too much. You too, Robin. And that's all I'm going to say about y'all. So y'all do come off a little... <laughs> you do. And now y'all trying to get up in Katie's ass and Katie giving you y'all back. And she didn't call y'all stupid. Now how y'all like them apples? Well, that was the episode and I'll see you soon for something.